This video is a brick garage straight up blown away. Tonight we now know there were seven confirmed Monday tornadoes. Mary Kay has that in a minute, but first Tara Molina spent the day in the damage. It's tough just getting around here today. This is Sorch Village, where people aren't alone in their hopes for help clearing all of this soon. It was just a freight train that came in. Like a freight train. So fast and loud. Christina and her husband saw it coming and raced downstairs, bracing for a hit. It was scary. Coming back up to find this. 25 years and this has never happened. Their brick garage, gone. We're the only brick garage in the neighborhood and we're the only garage that went down. Now they're working on next steps. Thankful everyone in their neighborhood is okay because they're not alone in today's cleanup. Just a couple blocks away, a doorbell camera captured entire treetops break off. Some of them into Jennifer Carfo's house. And my neighbor says to me, there's a tree in your house. And about two foot of a tree was inside, went through the roof. Thousands of 311 calls for help with storm damage. Hundreds of trees have been cleared. According to Streets and Sands, their crews are working 16 hour shifts to help neighborhoods like this one. Until then, they're helping each other. We have some great neighbors that came over immediately and started helping us. Everybody came together and pitched in. We all just started work. It was kind of, it was it was fun. Tonight there are still thousands in Chicago without power. We're told some in the Rogers Park area could be waiting until the 15th. We'll keep checking on that. Reporting in Sorch Village tonight. I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.